Hi, I'm Joe Pfeiffer, President and CEO of HFMA. Welcome back to our monthly web video series. This month, I'll talk about surviving and thriving in the age of big data. Maybe, but it is an important issue for our industry. That was strikingly clear at HFMA's Thought Leadership Conference last October. Everywhere I turned, people were talking about data and sharing their thoughts about how best to collect it, manage it, and use it. Buzzword or not, it's official. Big data is here, and it holds the promise of enabling us to provide better, more efficient, and less expensive healthcare. We need the ability to analyze all this data and then apply it to improve population health in particular and the way we do business overall. For example, we're going to need better analytics to measure quality and effectiveness of care, not just for a single hospital admission, but across care settings and over time. It's key for issues from Medicare value-based payments to any of the new risk-sharing arrangements on the private sector side. For example, we'll need predictive modeling to identify patients who need closer health management. The list goes on and on. The good news is that many excellent tools are already available and more are on the way. For starters, I encourage you to take advantage of HFMA resources. Our value project report on business intelligence, for example, provides guidance on how to move from being a data collecting organization to one that is data driven. You can find that report and other valuable resources here at hfma.org. Second, learn from the experience of others. Professional publications, such as HFM, regularly include data related case studies. Once you're done reading, get out there and talk to people. Ask questions. Attend your local HFMA meetings and national conferences such as ANI. You can learn a lot by chatting with your colleagues as well as the education. Finally, if you want to thrive in the data age, be sure to surround yourself with the right people. We need people who understand and are comfortable with large sets of data. People who see not just the numbers, but the story behind the numbers, and can articulate it. For population health management, that often includes people with actuarial expertise. Actuaries most in demand will be those who can use their skills to develop meaningful decision impacting information, just as good finance folks do. Perhaps most important, we need people who are curious because curiosity will lead them to seek the answer that isn't always obvious. And that can be the difference between data being just a bunch of numbers and data providing the key to success in this new era of healthcare. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next month.